Welcome to today's uh, tutorial. Today we're going to examine NECO 2023 June examination. NECO is National Examination Council. Um, today we're going to look at uh, the titration specimen on NECO examination. We're going to examine it and then see um, and then see uh, what we can get out of it. So on the table you have your bread readings, CN cube, final reading, initial readings, proverbial, rough, first and second. So this is the table for recording titration results. So let's go to the to the question. So the question here we have A is a solution containing 1.98 gram of H2SO4 acid. B is a solution of sodium carbonate. Put A into the burette. Titrate with 20 or 35 CNQ portions of B using methyl orange indicator. Repeat the experiment to obtain consistent readings. Tabulate your readings and calculate the average of acid use. From your results and information provided, calculate the... Okay, before we go ahead with the, with the calculation, we we'll have to run the experiment. You're still on Best Science Brain YouTube. So here we're having solution A. This solution A is solution of H2SO4 acid prepared by dissolving 2.2 cn cube of that seed in 1 dn cube. Solution B is sodium carbonate prepared by dissolving 3.6 gram of the substance in 1 dn cube. So we empty the acid into the bullet. I have the funnel there. Add the little and check whether it's leaking as usual. The usual precaution is not leaking. Continue adding to fill the bullet with the acid. So I want to start with this from the zero level. So I remove the funnel and then reduce the acid level to zero. It is there. At the zero level, then you see what the breast is not leaking. Then we'll bring our indicator, get our base already prepared to find CNK of the base, sodium carbonate, our two drops of the base of methyl orange into the alkali. Then swear the flask, they will not titrate to find our end point. So we start from one, we start from zero, the initial point is 0, 0.00. That level has it as zero. They will go back to the bullet and then start titrating. In there. All right, that's orange color. Orange color. So the final reading here for estimation is 21.30. 0. 0.30. We subtract, we have 21.30 to get the volume acid use. So that is it. So to the second, the first titration, we add more acid. To the bullet this time around and then we to start start from one whole number not zero so reduce the level rc to one so we are there at 1.00 so i write my initial here as 1.00 initial idea then we now Get the this is a base 25 cn cube. Add indicator. Need two drops to get more. Two drops of the methyl orange. Then we'll start titrating. Let's 
changing it into my little Let's change because that the two colors. The first and second one, almost the same thing. So that the orange color. We are now having 22.00 here. So the final range here is 22.00. If you subtract, I'll have 21.00. So that means I'm going to estimate for the next one be this one is more correct than this. So the next one I'll to get around to 21.00 here. Okay. So for this one, the second titration, I'll add more acid. So if you was that what happened? What happened now? The acid is inside the funnel. I added excess. So I don't have to move the funnel. If not, I'll see the acid over myself. So I leave the funnel. They are seeing that there are some acid inside the funnel and then reduce the thing. Reduce it until there is no acid in the funnel. Then I'll now bring out the funnel. Then lower it. I may wish to start from two whole number now. So here is the run two. So my initial here is 2.00. So here my initial is 2.00. That means I assume that this is correct. I expect the next final rate to be around 2 plus 21. That will be around what, 23. Okay, let's find out. This is the base. We're adding the indicator for start the experiment. Need two drops of the indicator. Then we titrate. I um, can move it to around 22 with speed. Then after I will stop and take it easy. It's changing. I take it drop by drop. See the way it's going. So that change. So you can compare the three colors. They are all the same. Orange. So the final reading we have here is 23.00. So I write 23.00. Difference is 21.00. That is it. Then I'm close up. We take the, need the average. The average becomes BA, I'll ignore the rough. I use 21.00 plus 21.00 over 2. That will give me the same 21.00 centimeter. So this is the average title or the end point for the correct end point for NACO June 2023 examination. So this is the result we have on the board being analyzed here. The paper to use is the 5 cm cube. Indicator uses two draws of material range per experiment. Color change as well as have is yellow to orange. Bread readings, final initial volume of acid use, 21.3 as we did it in, on the board, 0.0, .0 initial to 1.1 subtract, 22.00 minus 1, that initial is 1, you know, to 1.00. Second one, 23 is the final. Initial is 2, the difference gives us 1.00. The average is one, 1 plus 2 over 2. That is 21 plus 21 over 2, giving you know, us the same 21.00 as we observe on the wide board. So we'll go over to the calculations. So, number A question says we should find the concentration of A in mole per dn cube. And what is A? A is the acid containing 1.98 gram of the acid, of, of containing 1.98 gram of the acid in 500 cn cube. There's a mission here. 1.98 gram of the acid. So the error is corrected. A is solution of acid, 1.98 gram of the acid in 500 cn cube. In 500 cn cube. So we're looking for CA. So we'll go to the board and work out CA. 
So as we said, solution A from the equation contains 1.98 gram in Faraday CNQ. So we're going to find the amount of A that should be in 1000 CNQ. So now say Faraday CNQ solution contains 1.98 gram. The R for 1000 uh, will contain 1000 times 1.98 over 500. We're getting 3.96 gram per DNQ, meaning the mass in one DNQ. The rating molecular mass of H2SO4, when calculated, will give us 98.0. Then find our CA. CA is the molar concentration of A, which is the concentration of A in mole per DNQ. Now it becomes concentration in gram per DNQ over molar mass. The concentration in gram per DNQ is the mass in one DNQ, which is 3.96. The molecular mass is 98. Dividing, we're getting 0 0.0. 0404 more per DNQ to three significant figures as our CA. So number B says we should calculate the number of hydrogen ions present in one DNQ of solution A. And mind you, solution A is the H2SO4 acid. Number of other ions present in one DNQ of solution A. We'll go to the whiteboard. So we're looking for the number of other ion present in one DNQ of solution A. The first thing we have to do is to ionize solution A, which is H2SO4. When you ionize this acid being diabasic, it's going to give us two moles of other ion plus one mole of SO4. Then going to the equation, we have one mole of H2SO4 giving us two moles. That is connecting the acid solution A to hydrogen ion. One more of hydrogen for gave us two moles of the ion. The R for 0 0.040. This is our CA, which is the number of moles of the acid in one DNQ. The R for 0 0.0404 for mole of the acid will give us 0 0.0404 times 2. That will give us 0 0.0808 mole of hydrogen ion. Then we're looking for number of ions. Number of ions, S stands for ions. We gain by number of moles times Avogadro's constant. Number of uh, moles of other ion is uh, 0 0.0808. Avogadro's constant is 6.02 power 23. Multiplying this, we we'll now have 4.86 times power 22 ions. We'll go to the next question. We'll go to question C. It says we should find the concentration of B that the base in mole per DNQ. So go to the whiteboard. So here we're looking for the concentration of the base in mole per DNQ. From question A, we got our CA as 0 0.0404. Our VA from the table experiment at M point 21.00. Our VB is 25.00. The mole ratio is 1 to is to 1. That is one of the acid and one of the base. One is one. Applying the titration equation and making C be the subject. We now have this formula or this uh, equation. Then we make our substitution with the right values. Make our substitution here. And then working out C B, our C B now becomes 0 0.0339 mole per DNQ. So this is the equation of the base of the carbonate in mole per DNQ. So we go to question D. It says find the amount in mole of B in the pipette. Amount in mole of the base in the pipette. And mind the pipette is 25 cn cube standard. To find the amount in mole of the base, we use CB times VB over 1000. CB is the base concentration 0 0.0339, which we got the previous question. Our VB is the volume of the paper, which is 25.00. Substituting into this formula, we have 0 0.0339 times 25 over 1000. Solving, we have 0 0.000848 mole to three signal figures. That's the amount of the base in the pipette. So, question E says, find the Concentration of B in gram per DNQ. That the mass concentration of uh, B. To go to the board. So from here we have concentration in mole per DNQ. That is CB for the base. 
gain by concentration in gram per dnq, which you can call rho b or pb, all over molecular mass. This is what we're looking for. So make this one the subject by multiplying. So this becomes CB times molar mass. To find the molecular mass of the, of the substance, the base, using the atomic mass of sodium at 23 times 2, carbon is 12. Also is 16, but times 3, because of three atoms here, we get 106. Then substitute this into the equation, and also the value of CB, which I've gotten before, the value of CB is 0 0.0339 times 106. When I get 3.59 gram per dn cube of the base in one. So as given in the instruction, 3.6 gram per dn. So this is a correct estimate of what we have in the instruction. So we have question F. We have to find the volume, volume of carbon four that are liberated at STP by one dn cube of solution A. So we we'll go to question F. We're looking for the volume of CO2 liberated at STP by, by one dn cube of the acid solution A. We'll connect the acid to carbon four side. One more of the acid liberated, one more of carbon four side. One more of the acid again liberated 22.4 dn cube. One more of a gas equivalent to this volume at STP. And since we asked the volume of CO2 liberated by one dn cube of the acid, of the acid, we ask ourselves how many moles of the acid is inside one dn cube? That is the molar concentration CA. And I said, yeah, for 0 0.040 mole of the acid, we now liberate 0 0.0404 times 22.4. Solving, we're going to have 0 0.905 dn cube or multiply by 1,000, 905 cn cube or CO2 at STP. Okay, so we are still on Best Science Brand YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to under question based on the specimen, specimen A and B, because know that questions can be tweeted in different formats. So we're going to look at another question on this same specimen, uh, that is titration. We already done the titration, got the F point at 1.00. So we are now trying to evaluate different questions. Okay, so keep on, uh, stay tuned as we go to the question. Okay, the question says A is a solution of H2SO4 acid. B, solution B was prepared by at room temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius, by dissolving 0 0.36 gram of sodium carbonate in 100 cn cube of distilled water and diluting it to 1 dn cube. Put A into the bullet and titrate with 20 or 25 cn cube portions of solution B using methyl orange indicator. Repeat the experiment to obtain consistent readings. Tabulate your readings and calculate the average volume of acid yields. From your results and information provided, calculate the function of B in mole per dn cube. As we have done before, as I said before, we already done the titration, got the end point. So go through the calculation. The first one says, Calculate the function of B in mole per dn cube. Let's go to the question again. And then we see that in the question, we are told that solution B was prepared at room temperature by dissolving 0 0.36 gram of sodium carbonate in 100 cn cube and diluting with this water and diluting, the thing, diluting it to 1 dm cube. So here we are trying to calculate the concentration of B in mole per dn cube. From the information equation, we are told that solution B contains 0 0.36 gram of the sodium carbonate in 100 cn cube. So we have to find the mass concentration, that the mass of this of this uh, carbonate in 1,000 cn cube. Thus, we go there. 100 cn cube solution contains 0 0.36 gram of the carbonate. Therefore, 1,000 cn cube or solution will contain 1,000 times 0 0.36 all over 100. We now have 3.60 gram per dn cube. So this is the concentration of B in gram per dn cube or the mass concentration. We now find the molecular mass of the carbonate as 106. We've already seen the, shown the calculation before. 
then find out our CEB that the question of more per DNQ becomes also in gram per DNQ all over molecular mass. The question in gram per DNQ is 3.6, the molecular mass is 1 OC. Dividing, we have 0 0.0340 more per DNQ to 3 single figures. So the value of our CEB. So question B, we are asked to find the solubility of B at room temperature to a five degrees centigrade. Let's go back to the question. It says solution B, second sentence, were prepared at room temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius, by dissolving 0 0.36 gram of the carbonate in 100 cn cube of this water and then diluting it to 1 dn cube. The volume before dilution is 100 cn cube. The volume after dilution is 1 dn cube, which is equivalent to 1,000 centimeter cube. So let's go to the whiteboard. So now, first of all, before we find solubility, we have to find what's called dilution factor, DF, which is volume of solution after dilution all over volume of solution before dilution. Volume after dilution is 1 dn cube, which we read from the paper, which is 1 dn cube is equivalent to 1,000 cn cube. Volume before dilution is 100 cn cube. We divide the two, we now have 10.0 as a dilution factor. It has no unit. Solubility becomes CB times dilution factor. The base concentration, which we calculated before, is 0 0.0340 times 10 dilution factor. That gives us 0 0.340 the same, more per dn cube. It had the same unit as concentration. So question C says, find the concentration of A. Concentration of A in more per dn cube. That's our CA. So our CA is unknown. Our CB have been calculated in the previous question as 0 0.0340. Our VA is 21, the M point. Our VB is 25. The more ratio in balance equation is 1 is to 1. Applying the general formula, since we're only looking for one value, we make CA the subject. CA becomes CB, VB, NA, VA, MB by cross multiplying, you make CA the subject. Then substitute the value of CB is 0 0.0340. The value of our VB is 25, the NA is 1, the value of our VA is 21, MB is 1. Solving, we have 0 0.0405 more per DAQ at the acid concentration. So we're going to number D. We are asked to find the concentration of A in gram per DNQ. That means the mass of the acid in one DNQ of solution. On the board, we have this equation CA equal to rho A over mm. CA is the concentration of the acid in more per dn cube. Rho A, or PA as we call it, is the concentration of the acid in gram per dn cube all over the molecular mass of the acid, making this PA the subject. So rho A becomes CA times molecular mass. Molecular mass of the acid is calculated as 98. Then going to this formula, the value of our CA have been obtained in the previous question as 0 0.0405. The molecular mass of acid is 98. Multiply them together, we get 3.97 gram per dn cube to 3 significant figures. So looking at question E that says, find the volume of CO to be breathed at STP during the reaction. So go to the equation for the reaction. We we'll have to find the number of moles of the acid that reacted. Why, why do we find the number of moles of acid that reacted? Because the question says, find the volume of CO2 liberated during the reaction, not the volume of CO2 liberated by one dn cube of A. You can go, you can go back to the, uh, the first question we did, uh, the first solution, uh, example I gave. But that one was, say, was saying, volume of CO2 liberated by one dn cube of, of, the, of solution A. But this time around, we are looking for the volume of CO2 during the reaction. In the reaction, we do not use one dn cube of the acid. Rather, we use VA, that the average of the acid. You have to find the number of moles of the acid. We have this in the, in the average, average titer. You can still decide to work with the carbonate. Once you use the carbonate, you now use, find the number of moles of the carbonate in the, in the paper using CBVB over 1,000. But since we have to decide, we want to work with acid, then how to find number of moles of the acid in the average titer. Using getting this, 
We now have one more of the acid, gave us one more of CO2. One more of the acid gave us 22.4 dn cube of CO2. Therefore, this is the number of moles of the acid in the average titer. 0.00851 mole of the acid will now give us 0.00851 times 22.4. That gives us 0.0191 dn cube of CO2. We can convert this to cn cube. We wish to multiply by 1000, I have 19.1 cn cube of CO2 inverted. So this question number F says mass of sodium that's of a 6 that will be obtained by evaporating 1 dn cube of titration mixture at the end of the reaction. So we'll go to the whiteboard. So going to the equation, the reaction, this equation will connect 1 dn cube of solution A to sodium sulfate. You can say connect one, can, one more of uh, solution A to sodium carb uh, sulfate or 1 dn cube, yes. You can say connect sodium carbonate to sodium sulfate. So either you use this one to solve it or use this one to get the answer. So using the acid, one more of SO4 gave us one more of sodium sulfate. That is from the stoichiometric ratios, 1 is to 1. Then one more of acid gave us one, a 142 gram of sodium sulfate. How did I get 142? One more of a compound is equal to the molar mass of the compound. So the molar mass of this compound, as we work it out down here, is 142 of sodium sulfate. It's 142. So we go back to the equation. So one more of this gave us 142 gram of sodium sulfate. They are for 0.0405. This 0 0.0405 is our C, which is the number of moles of the acid in one dn cube. When I give us 0 0.0405 times 142, that will give us 5.75 gram per dn cube. So this is the mass of the sodium rest of a cis you can obtain for one dn cube of solution after evaporation at end point. So keep on listening on to best science brain as we go to the qualitative analysis of this uh, NECO experiment. If you are not subscribed, please do well and subscribe to the channel so you can get more of our videos as we post them. Thank you.